did that plant fall over? Soil erosion. So, Dr. Audrey, what is soil erosion? Ah, oh, great question, great question. Soil erosion is the wearing away of topsoil due to anthropogenic activities as well as natural physical forces such as wind and water. Wow, thanks for telling me. Of course. So, Dr. Audrey, what does soil erosion look like and where can I find it? Well, follow me. Oh, thanks. As I said earlier, water is one of the leading causes of soil erosion, especially on downward slopes. Watch as I spray this hose on the soil right here. Erosion. Okay, Dr. Audrey, so why do I really care about soil erosion? What, what does it really do? How does it affect me? Wow, look at all this green grass and beautiful trees and scenery. I'm just, wow. Oh my, oh look, it's, it's Dr. Audrey. Hello, hello. So you agree with me, Myla, that these, this is beautiful vegetation behind me. Yes. These plants would not be able to grow without the soil beneath them. What? Well, well what do we do to cause this? We do a lot to cause this. Myla, don't do that! Soil erosion! No, Myla, soil erosion! Soil erosion! No, you're the dancing ruining the soil! No, Milo, don't do that! Why not? Because the roots of the plants hold the soil in place. Oh. On a more serious note, the leading causes of soil erosion today are anthropogenic building of fabulous houses deforestation, as well as CAFOs. Wow, look, look at this beautiful tree and the branches. I just want to climb it. Oh my God! It may be so beautiful, Myla, but this is one of our causes. Over the past 150 years, the world has lost a total of 50% of its topsoil due to humans cutting down trees exactly like this one. Why would someone do that? Why? Why? <laughs> Myla, I bring you to this site so you yourself can witness the terrible soil quality here. Oh my goodness. The big machinery that we use, the uprooting of everything around it, the uprooting of grass. How? The vegetation, it all destroys the soil. <gasps> Hi, Daddy. Hi, Tag. You're such a good boy. Ah! I'm back. All animals like to eat. And this is actually another cause of soil erosion. Not specifically this dog, but the biggest one is cattle on feedlots. Feedlots take place in a farmland area. And oftentimes, farmers leave their cattle in one area on the land. The cattle left on the land then eat all the vegetation, which is called overgrazing. Without the vegetation, the soil is then exposed to intense sunlight immense amounts of manure, as well as wind. Dr. Audrey, all this stuff is freaking me out. What, what can someone like me do to help? Well, the biggest thing farmers can do to prevent soil erosion is working on green practices, meaning they set up windbreakers, healthy windbreakers that prevent the wind from blowing through and knocking all the topsoil off. Farmers can also work on rotational grazing, meaning that instead of putting their cattle in one area and leaving the cattle there for endless hours, Move. they rotate the cattle from area to area so no land is being overgrazed on. One of the last easy practices that farmers can use is no-till farming, meaning instead of plowing the soil every single season, they can work on instead just spreading the seeds openly at the top. Farmers are not the only ones who can help soil erosion. We can also help prevent soil erosion. Really? Yes. If we alert people on the effects of deforestation and find supplements for making paper instead of just using trees, we can prevent deforestation. On top of that, we make people more aware of the harm that anthropogenic activities such as building houses causes, 
then perhaps we can work our way towards finding a unique way to produce these fabulous houses.